Well, good evening and welcome to the wasteland. Uh, we're here doing a capture video for my contest entry for the July 2021 Some Settlements 2 City Plan contest. And I was challenged to find a way to take the Zamanja or Zamania, whatever it's called, settlement and make it green. So my take on that is both to use the color green a lot and also to uh, put as much sort of nature into it as I could and also to only use renewable sources of energy. So that's where I started. So here's my, uh, here's my take on Zemonia Greens, Zemonia Greens. So let's dive right in. Here's my little entryway here. This is level three, by the way. And there's certain elements of uh, this that don't scrap properly. So this ladder, for example, you can't really get rid of. But uh, anyway, got our water source over here. Some defense up top. Yeah, thanks. You can shut up, Paul. Uh, here's our office with our uh, mayor. Hard at work. And uh, workshop, still in the same place. I also kind of decided to yeah. use the fact that this was a uh, huge radio tower and put in a comms hub. So that's one of the plots. Uh, I also used a lot of moss just to kind of block off areas, but obviously you can walk through that and you can find my hidden storage area here. I've uh, got a couple of uh, garden plots here. And of course the main food plot out here is this massive green bus growing all kinds of mushrooms with the help of some radiation and bugs, little critters crawling around. Uh, heading back over to this side, you can already see our power sources up on top here. Plentiful enough for the whole settlement and all of its draw. Uh, had to do with some high density residential uh, just because of the you know somewhat small size of the settlement <clears throat> and uh, we got our junk junk storage here one more tiny little plot here that needs to be oh actually his uh, HUD stuff is uh, up here since it wasn't an interior plot a couple more uh, bunks over here and here and then a little spot here where you can get access to the roof if you need to repair any power. And a little more defense. That was one of the things that didn't quite resolve to my satisfaction when I was building this was uh, the defense. Although this, after I leveled this settlement up, it looks like all the defenses come online. Um, this settlement does have uh, eight settlers at level one. 10 at level 2 and 13 at level 3 although obviously if you wanted to expand beyond that you could there's still some room in here for for additional building especially if you don't mind going vertically uh, here's our caravan plot which begins right at level uh, level 1 uh, back entrance so that the caravanners can get out easily not much out here except some of the other stuff underneath the highway over there uh, another defense plot and some recreation we got our uh, our bar over here one recreation plot a nice restroom for the whole settlement and then upstairs we've got a few more residential plots to round out the space this one's a multi person that one's just the one and then this one's also just a single I tried to add some curtains here for privacy and then once again up top we've got our power sources uh, it's actually overpowered for the settlement I tried to do some calculations at the end but ended up with uh, probably more more than you need in fact I'm quite certain there's more than you need uh, and then again I tried to as you can see kind of cover up some of the ugly stuff with with moss um, I did notice as it was leveling up that some of the moss got misplaced or sort of buried in the ground. But once I got to level two, um, all of it got right back in and 
and uh, put the curtains up properly here. So uh, that worked out fine. Plenty of other greenery around. I did place some uh, some additional shrubs, and these are actually trees that are buried lower that look like shrubs. And uh, yeah, I tried to use green or dark green wood everywhere that I could. Mixed it in a little bit with some other spots just for uh, a little bit of variety, but yeah, like you can see here, this was just barn or a warehouse flooring uh, when I needed two by one floor spots. Um, but yeah, I think it uh, turned out pretty well, and hopefully you all like it, and uh, we'll see how things turn out after the voting. I uh, appreciate your time. Bye.